Good to go. All righty. Hello, Christy. This is Mike Burkett. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I get in out of these, out of this 2012 International Pro Star. First thing I do is I lock my brakes. Second thing I do, open the door. It's not really all that hard. The third thing I do is I, I sit exactly kind of like this without my chair moving. Use my arms. I also use my legs as well. Pressures for both of them are, are, aren't all that hard. Next thing I do when I'm on, this, on this second step, I make sure I can get at least onto one of my knees, if not both of my knees. Or get... <coughs> the steps are just wide enough for me to get onto my knees. Now, most people usually can't really supposed to tilt for this. But I'm not like most people. I can shimmy my way, and I'll show you when, when I get out, uh, I can shimmy my way out of the, uh, through the steering column. Let's see. The, the pedals on this truck, if, when the seat's in the right position, I can easily operate. You don't mind if I turn this on to you. The pedals on this truck aren't all that hard compared to most of the vehicles, so it's easy to accelerate without that much pressure. I can also get the service brake without uh, too much pressure and require a whole lot to do. transmission on this truck is the automatic transmission. This, you've got the reverse, you've got the end for neutral, you've got drive, and you've got low. When the truck is on, it's, it's on neutral. Parking brakes are released or uh, applied. The buttons on these, on these don't require too much. I usually use my thumb to release to put the vehicle in drive or neutral or reverse. And usually I use either my palm of my hand and kind of twist it this way to actually um, release the parking brake. But pulling it out isn't all that hard. Um, for example, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna put my for service I'm gonna keep the service brake on, but release just show um, me releasing the parking brake and then apply, applying it. Okay. Dope. So as you notice on the transmission, it ha there is a green light on the neutral. For me to disengage from from neutral, I'd have to hit, use this, put my foot on the service brake, and then part, apply it to one of these other three settings. For me to release the parking brake, this is the parking brake for me. It's not that much of a pre on this side. It's not that much that hard for me to apply to release the parking brake. Nope. Whoops. Applying both the uh, releasing and applying both the trailer brake and the parking brake is not that hard. But on another video, I'll sh uh, on a later video, I will also show you a road test for when uh, when that happens. So now the the way that I get out of the tr out of these trucks, I go out through pretty much through the steering column. Most people aren't even built to do that. They're not flexible enough to do that and they're not really as skinny as I am to fit in, in tight spaces. I'll get that later. For me to get down the process is about the same with this for me to get down. I put I get to the point where I get onto one knee. 
while keeping one foot on, at least hanging on the side of the rail of the step. Second portion of it is I get onto my butt, and then I get down. I put my feet on my seat so that I can for elevation reasons. Put one foot on my foot on my service on my brake on my thing, and get down, and that's that's pretty much how we get in and out of the truck. On another date, on a later date, I will show you. Um, a uh, road test with one of these trucks, um, but it won't be quite until it's warmer and then when we're out of the shop. Um, and well, that's pretty much it. <laughs>